What are we doing? It live. No, no, but what is it? Action activate news knowledge zone. Hey, what's up? It is time for Action Activate. We're doing news this time. I am Gazbot. With me, as always, is... Big Dog Defender. That's right, the Big Dog Defender here. With me, we're going to talk about uh, Power Ranger news, Tokusatsu-related news, anything in that kind of wheelhouse. It is... That little bubble. A bubble. It is Saturday, the 4th of uh, May... January, February, March, March April. No, April. April. Wow. We're both wrong. It's the one between <laughs> us. We, I guessed high, you guessed low. But... Split the difference. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually a follow-up to something we talked about last week. So yes. I'm going to pull this up. We talked about Spider-Man, the Toei Spider-Man, also known Spider-Man. as... Spider-Man! Yes, the Emissary of Hell. Uh, there's SH Figure Arts version coming out, as well as an SOC of Leopardon. But if we go further down... I knew about this, but I forgot to bring it up. There is a mini plot of Leopardon. So, uh, if you're a mini plot builder, uh, Big Dog claims to be. He, he built one. It took him like two years. Um, <laughs> uh, you can get a mini plot that is Marveler and transforms into Leopardon. Uh, and it will definitely be cheaper. I'm showing images of it here now. And actually, I'm going to click the link. I was. This goes to Hobby Link Japan because I want to see if I can get the price. Uh, the mini plot, is it not up yet? It took me to the screen with the... All right, so I'm doing a bad job of finding out the price here. But uh, behind the scenes... So I'll... Yeah, good. I've, I've seen one place list it, and it may be more than like direct import sites will be, well, similar to Hobby Link Japan. What I was getting at is that it's definitely going to be less than the Solo Chogokin Leopardon. So if you're not worried yes. about scale, and you're not worried about metal, and you don't mind building something, but you want a Leopardon, uh, this will be your option. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I didn't realize it didn't have a price on this. I, I will give my take. Yeah. Do I think it looks cool? Yes. Do I like that it transforms? Yes. Do I think it's worth it? No. Well, how much uh, is it? Do well, you know? I've seen it on Big Bad Toy Store for $95. Oh, really? Which, for $100 more, you get the quote-unquote better version with die cast and the wrist uh, communicator, etc. Yeah, I'm going to put it up now. You're absolutely right. Big Bad Toy Store has it. It's $95 pre-order, um, not including shipping, depending on if you have to pay shipping or not. So, yeah, yeah I thought it was going to be more like $50, which would be – Yeah. But, yeah, for 100 bucks, yeah, I got to rec- – unless you have a mini plot collection and that's your scale and that's what you do and, like, so you want it to fit that. Yeah, yeah. for an extra 100 bucks, you get the the, the metal figure and, and the, the – And the communicator. And the, but also it comes with um, the, the GP7 and like a little mini Spider-Man figure and like a bunch of other stuff too. So yeah, you are 100% right. That is the better way to go for the price. That's crazy. I, I really thought the mini plot would be cheaper. So who – other than diehard mini plot collectors that that's all they collect, who's getting this? Model kits are really big in certain markets. American markets, it's kind of hit or miss depending on who you can target, but it's right. much bigger in Japan. And Fair. and a lot of times with that too, if you do collect a lot of model kits because they're smaller, you can get more. That's true. So you get better articulation. You have the experience of building it. So I get it. I think that this one unfortunately falls short for us and some other people in similar instances where – if price is the driving factor and the space isn't that much more, why right. would I not? And it? even if price is a driving yeah. factor, you could, like uh, you've mentioned this and other people have too, you could get the SOC set and if you only want the robot, you could sell the, the bracelet and whatever or you Or vice get. versa. Or vice versa, but we're talking about versus the mini plot, you know. So it, even if you only got 50 for the bracelet, that's still, now you're only 50 bucks more and you still have the GP7 and like other, yeah. So it's, yeah, that's a, that's a big no on that unless you're a diehard mini plot person. Good call. Uh, the yep. next thing I wanted to bring up, which I'm really surprised you didn't bring up, um, because this is more up your alley than mine. I'll put it on the screen now. There is a Power Rangers board game called Heroes of the Grid, which you own. Yes. And there is yes. several expansions that come out, including Zeo. And the newest one, which is not out yet, but they announced and they released the box art for, is called Rise of the Psycho Rangers. Uh, yep. I actually found out about this because Patrick David, who plays the Red Psycho Ranger, I follow him, and I saw him talking about it. And so I was like, oh, yeah, and it's got some cool art. It looks like the in-space rangers in the front, and it's got the psychos in the back. Um, I haven't played this game, but if I did, I would definitely want this particular expansion, which leads me to my next question. A, have you played your game yet? And B, will you be getting this expansion? I have not played since I got it shipped to me via the Kickstarter. And how long I've has that played, been? 
it's been a while. Um, th- and I know, just full transparency, I'm not the best at opening stuff right away. This one specifically, you need other people. Right. It's not on me. It's on, do I have three to five people to play this? Wait, wait, and, hold on, hold on. Have you invited people? Have you tried to set up a game night and it fell I've through? tried. I, I've had game nights with people, and I've brought it up, and everybody's like, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. If you have people over and it's game night and you're like, oh, let's play Settlers of Catan and Monopoly. And by the way, I have this game that you'll have to learn crazy rules and play for hours. No one's going to go for that. Have no, you... I've the, the game night has been planned. And when it's the conversation of what can we play? Right. I have brought it up and it has been shot down in favor of other games. Mm. Here's what you need to do. I, I'll give you fair credit, then that's not your fault. Here's you need to you need to set up a night, and you've seen me do this because I do movie nights. I don't go. Let's have a movie night. What are we gonna watch? I say, here's the movie we're watching. Come if you want to see it. You need to say, hey, f- Friday night, whatever. I'm gonna we're gonna play Power Rangers. Here's the grid. Who's in? That's what you need to do. I think what I will say is in the next month. I will try to learn the rules and make sure I can be a good game master for it. That's important. And then yeah. May slash June, that is when I will do that. And I think people are more likely to join me then. I agree. All right. Well, we look forward to that. Now, oh, wait. But are you going to get the uh, Rise of the Psycho Ranger expansion? Or are you going to um, wait? So, so to answer that question, uh, I'm most likely going to get it because, like you said, that's something that I think will be good in certain expansions like that. I if it changes the game enough outside of just having these characters, which it seems like it will, right. then I'm much more down to pay quote unquote more for something like that than I would like the previous heroes of the grid news that we've seen of like, here's these other characters you can play with. I'm like, I'm not going to spend 40 bucks on that. Cause it's if not a was, new, it's not a new game mechanic or anything. Yeah, it's just like extra, you, you, yeah. you put them in and it's cool. And I'm not going to try to say it's not cool, but for me personally, I already have some of the other expansions, and I have other Rangers it's, that I would rotate in. It's the difference between if you're playing uh, baseball, let's say. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, if you're playing a fighting game, buying an expansion to get a few new fighters versus getting the next version of the game. Is that? Yeah, like other like game mechanics. Like, right. oh, you can do a tag team tournament. You can do this versus right, like, right. here's DLC of Hellboy or whatever character you're getting. So um, traditionally for games that I have like that, I've been a lot more down and better to justify that. Fair. Um, so most likely once the pricing comes out, I'll, uh, I'll be more inclined to have a hard decision on that. Okay. Uh, those were the, the two big ones I want to talk about. Um, I know – well, do you want to talk about a uh, friend of the show and what's going on with them? Uh, yes. So, uh, friend of the show, shout out to the immortal red Fox Boom. had episode four of their series debut this week. And, uh, I'm not hard on these numbers, but from my understanding, it is the most views in the shortest amount of time for an episode to go over a thousand, which I know we talked about true. Is, is their soft goal. So that was awesome. There was a live, uh, Q and a kind of format on Instagram this week, the night of the premiere, uh, Matt Palmer, the creator of the immortal red Fox was all in a tuxedo or a suit and, uh, was answering questions. I know Gazbot and I were on there and, uh, it was mm-hmm. definitely cool. Yeah. Hello? Um, Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I was just agreeing with okay. you. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely got a lot of, uh, action in parts of the video. So go check it out. And, Obviously, I just we always love yeah. support. That. I just threw a couple things on screen real quick, but yeah, to to follow up on the numbers, um, it's the second most watched video they have. Period. Which is, wow. Period. Yeah. Um. The the crazy thing is, like the last one they had, episode three, is at after seven months is at nine hundred and fifty four views, uh, which is not nothing. But this one came out two days ago, and has one point five or one thousand one point five thousand views. So and the one before it that had Johnny Young Bosch doing the voice it took three months to get to a thousand. And this isn't me criticizing; it's more like what a ramp up. Like episode four, yeah, exactly. people are like jumping on board for. So the good thing, aside from our friends succeeding and people getting to see you know good content, is uh, he has repeatedly said that the the faster they get the views come up, the faster the content will come out. So unofficially. The fact that this got so many views so quickly, I want to stress unofficially, I am not in charge of this, but it's 
probably likely that episode five is going to come out a lot sooner than episode four did relative to episode three, based yep. on how well this is doing. Don't yep. hold him to that because I'm saying it, not him, but I'm just sort of saying this is how it seems to work. And I would, I would bet money. It will be out before way before the length of time we had between three and four, between four and five would be a lot shorter. That's, that's my bet for that. I agree. Yeah. I definitely think it's something that we should see sooner. And I think also it just shows that, uh, whatever they did this time worked to get the views up and yeah. maybe now the new kind of next episode thresholds might right. go up as well, which is always good to keep that channel growing. Because hopefully you have these thousand watching. viewers that are checking it out. Like even if half of them jump on the next one and we immediately have 500 views, that'll still get it going. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and maybe, who knows, maybe the live hangout that you, we were talking about, maybe that helped it a lot. You know? That could have helped. I yeah. know, uh, Obviously, you were doing cross promotion right. with your exclusive art print, mm -hmm. which having different avenues of just people seeing the character and maybe diving in. Who knows? Maybe yeah. just you posting that art got people to check out the channel, and then here we are. I would love to think that I have that much impact, but I don't. I mean, maybe I brought a few people, but I didn't bring uh, 1,500 people in. That was not me. <laughs> well, it could have been 1499 because I watched. I was okay, honest. well, there you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, Speaking yeah. of videos, though, there was another video you wanted to, to discuss. Yes, so uh, another channel that we've talked about on the show multiple times, Crimson Vision Studios, uh, just released episode two of their Power Rangers series, First Ninja, which is a unofficial prequel to Ninja Storm. Now, full transparency, I haven't sat down and watched it yet. The only reason <laughs> I haven't is because the times that I thought I was going to, I didn't want to watch it distracted. I wanted to pull it up on my TV. I wanted to give them the full dedication, but in the short term to help with algorithms and things like that, I pulled it up because I'm a subscriber. I clicked uh, like, and I got a view going that way just because obviously want to support the show and the more views I can get them, the better because I've really been enjoying the various fan series from that. Uh, agreed. Same everything, except that I just gave them a like right now, live on the air. <laughs> hey, it yeah. still counts. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I yeah, actually didn't realize uh, uh, I follow them, but you know, like I, there's a lot going on and like, I didn't real I knew the new one was coming and it was coming and it was coming. And when you told me earlier today, I'm like, Oh, I didn't even know it was that. So like, like I just found out today. So yeah, they've yeah. been doing a countdown on their Instagram of like three days, two days. One, and like, it's one where it came out yesterday and I happen to have a busier day than normal work wise. So I was right. like, uh, and then, uh, I'll definitely get to it before the next news show. To Same. give a little tidbit, but uh, Same. speaking of other yes, yes. Uh, fan fan films and such, uh, another great channel that we love, Power Rangers: The Unworthy from Unworthy Productions, mm -hmm. released a uh, not a prequel comic, but that what they're saying adaptation is, maybe. It's uh, special number one. You can find it on their Etsy if you look up. Uh, I'm Power showing Rangers it on the screen right now. Oh, perfect! Power Rangers: Unworthy. It's uh, two dollars if I remember on Etsy. Dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. There we go. And it's uh, they're calling it kind of episode two point five, where it's after episode two but before episode three because there's a little bit of a difference there. Right. And it kind of uh, on the cover, it's got Tommy. So if you've seen the series, you know what's up with Tommy right now. Don't want to mm -hmm. spoil anything. Go check it out if you haven't already. And uh, definitely cool that they have. Uh, multiple mediums. I know Mortal Red Fox has a manga in addition to their video series. And now with this, yeah. you have uh, kind of two platforms, which is really cool. Agreed. Uh, and just real quick, the, it looks like the writer uh, created and written um, Jordan Barnett, uh, who is the same person who created the video series and, and does a lot of the directing and acting and stuff. Uh, illustrated and finalized. I don't know what that means by finalized. Illustrated and finalized by Washi Washoi, I believe is how you would say that. And then flat colors yes. by Jenna Garcia. Yeah, Washi, I know, has done a lot of uh, art for the series as well in the background. I know they've shouted out. Uh, oh, are, are they their... like a, a special effects artist in addition to being a comic artist? No, I think they've just done a lot of concepts potentially. And oh, I, so before they build it in CGI or in practical effects, they – okay, that makes sense. Possibly. I've yeah. seen multiple pieces of art from them featured on Unworthy's uh, Instagram, which is how I recognize the name. I, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to – I'm going to nerd out on the comic side real quick because I have a, a weird question. I'm going to put this on the screen. I know you can't see it. 
the cover is set up like a standard comic cover Names where they have their logo and the number likely... one and all this stuff. And on the bottom, it says Emerald Twilight, which presumably is the name of the story. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm then they have the credits. Sorry. <clears throat> nah, which just is normal. It. Normally, you put have it at the, the end writer the and the artist. At a writer and the penciler at the very least. And sometimes you go then ink or colors or whatever, you know, depending on how the publisher wants to do it. Now, there's only three creators credited on this. They actually don't say who the letterer is. I'm guessing maybe that's what they mean by finalized. But regardless, they have Jordan Barnett. He's the creator and writer. He's first. Fine. Makes sense. Then second, they have Jenna Garcia. Now, I want to be clear. Nothing against her. I don't know her. She seems to have done a fine job with the colors. She did the flat colors. And then we have Washi, who did all the rest of the art for the whole book last. That's unusual. You, a flat coloring is, is, is not even full coloring, and yet she got higher billing than the person who did all the art and the finished coloring? Could have been alphabetical. Oh, let's see. A, B, C, D. If it's, maybe. Maybe. Uh, and again, I'm not trying to start anything. I've just never seen it done that way as someone who like looks at comics all the time and thinks about this kind of stupid stuff. I probably shouldn't have brought it up. I'm going to cause problems, but whatever. No, <laughs> no, cause, no I, I appreciate it just because I strictly look at comics from a reading and viewer's perspective. Right. You look at comics from every perspective. Yeah, <laughs> true. So it, it's different. It's like if you and I looked at that piece of art, you're – opinion and mm -hmm. or kind of interpretation of it is going to be grossly different than mine right well it's, it's the same it as like is. if you're if you're looking at a baseball game you see and <laughs> for all of these inside baseball you know punny jokes uh go check out the last episode and you can see us the, uh, no not the last news episode we reviewed power rangers beast morphers the last six. episode of beast morphers yes. reviewed check that i out. don't You'll know sports all the baseball yeah. <laughs> all the baseball you don't want to hear about <laughs> absolutely true all right uh yeah. i think I think that's about it. Uh, we have a few more things, but we're kind of running short on time. Is there anything else you had to say, or could we uh, be done for the day? Yeah, one final thing. Yeah. Mainly because I love to uh, taunt you. Oh, boy. I'm going to give you a one-shot for this. So these guys are great. Each. Ah, the new Lightning Collection. Let me give I you only have two hands, so I don't have Zeal Blue with me, but – this guy, surprising winner for me of you the wave. Because his weapons combined, was that the thing you yeah, were saying? Yeah, I don't have MMPR yellow. Okay. Which is part of it. But if you look here, these are two completely different blasters. Well, I'll tell you what. I am jealous that you have them right now, but I will have them in uh, two days. Because well, I ordered good. them from the sale you told me about at Megalopolis. Megalopolis. So I have that entire wave minus Trini. But actually, you know what? While you're fiddling with whatever you're fiddling, I'm going to go back to the news screen real quick. Because one of the, the uh, stories that I wasn't going to tell anymore, I have it up here. I have Boom. Amazon. Trini's – no, I don't have you on the screen right now. Uh, I know. Trini went back up for pre-order at retail. And I bought her a day ago, two days ago. And I even shared it on the, web, uh, on the uh, Facebook page. Hey, guys, here's your other chance to get Trini. And I'm so glad I got her because she's already gone. And now resellers are selling her for $46. Yep. So I got the other three on sale from Megop Megalopolis, and then I got trading yeah. at retail from Amazon. But I, I don't have any of them yet, but they're all on their way. So Nice. Um, one thing also that I will say, and then I'm done with the figure talk, is you're going to love this thing. Oh, that's the thing from the show that I like. Oh, I love that thing. I love it. I love that little like cartoony just, laptop of evil. Yeah, I've been having – them at uh kind of my makeshift workstation now and uh oh, man, they're so cool like i i'm a really big fan i i know when we have like gaps with the lightning collection mm -hmm. we'll look at our current figures and i love them to death and then right. I, everybody especially with collecting always is like where's the new thing is it gonna you know stay consistent and dude spd red so great blaze also great i mean the kind of like how we critique the beast morphers episodes i have zeal blue and if you gave me him two years ago i would have been like oh my oh, god yeah. this is the greatest <laughs> figure ever but now with all these heavy hitters i'm like oh yeah he's good if you asked me to give him a rating he'd be at least an eight out of ten that's but pretty these high guys, these guys just have so much additional cool stuff you'd give him an eight out of ten even with the terrible head sculpt that steve cardenas himself has said doesn't look like him 
because I I only care so much about it. Like I have him posed up right now where he's holding his helmet, and I've had him from afar, so it doesn't bother me as much. Okay. See, I thought you were going to say I don't pose him without the helmets, but it's even weirder that no, like I from where we were with the previous right. Power Ranger figures, this yes. is still leaps better. Well, absolutely but... agreed. Absolutely agreed. But yeah, I'm just writing the high. high on those. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um. Let's call it a day for news today. Uh, we'll be back next week with more news, probably with a new episode review, assuming there is one. But until such time, keep on keeping on, keep on trucking, keep on eating your hot dogs and popsicles. I have been Casbot. Keep on eating those stuff. Big Dog Defender here. Any other news stuff, feel free to talk about it in the comments, and it may or may not be talked about next week. To the power. I don't know what this I was trying. I was trying to do this. Which I could do with this the, arm, but apparently I can't. Oh, wait, you know there. what? That reminds me. In baseball, what you do with your arms. And credits. <laughs>